good afternoon students so let me start today the new chapter the chapter of hornbill first chapter the portrait of a lady written by khushban c so this is the introduction class so in this class first i will discuss and you will be acquainted with the author khushban singh then i'll discuss the characters of the story theme introduction and summary okay so many new students have taken admission these days so this chapter already completed done before so this is the recapitulation class so i would start in this way would help you definitely so be concentrative and listen it so first let me introduce with kusban singh the author of this story Kushwan Singh one of the best known indian writer of all times was born in 1915 in hadali now in pakistan he was educated at the government college lahore at kings college cambridge and the inner temple in london okay in our temple in london he practiced law at the lahore high court for several years before joining the indian ministry of external affairs in 1947 he began a distinguished career as a journalist with all india radio in 1951 and since then he has been found uh, founder editor of yojana 1951 to 1953 editor of the illustrated weekly india 1979 to 1980 chief editor of new delhi 1979 to 1980 and the editor of hindustan times 1980 to 83 his saturday column with malice towards one of one and all okay with malice towards one and all in the hindustan times is by far one of the most popular columns of the day so very distinguished writer journalist and a member of indian ministry of external affairs okay kushwan singh was a member of the rajya sabha upper house of the indian parliament from 1980 to 1986 among other honors he was awarded the padma bhushana 1974 president of india written the declaration of 1984 in protest against the union government siege of the golden temple in amritsar okay singh died of natural causes 20th march 2000, 2014 at his delhi based residence at the age of 99 so he was 20, 99 20th march 2014 suddenly he died of the natural causes During lifetime, Khushban Singh was a keen on burial because he believed that with a burial you give back to the earth what you have taken. Okay, this is Khushban Singh, students. Very prominent name, not only in terms of writing, history of English literature, but also as a very active leader, very active journalist, editor. and a very very good human being if i'll introduce the text today the portrait of a lady it gives us a picture of human relationship in a joint family okay what is that story about it is the story about that gives the picture of human relationship in a joint family it is a realistic account on how the grandparents keep all their times attention and love to their grandchildren The author's description about the grandmother is deeply moving, with a touch of humor and poetry in it. Here, the author describes his grandmother in a different way, deeply moving, touching way, with humor and poetry. So, this is the story. The author had a good relationship, good bonding with his family, and especially his grandparents, and especially to his. grandmother so the portrait what what that a portrait means picture of 
a lady who is the lady here the portrait of a lady the lady is being referred here the grandmother of kushman singh now the characters of the story okay let me discuss the characters of the story one by one you just note down two characters are there just the narrator and the grandmother the narrator and the grandmother two characters who is the narrator of the story narrator of the story is kushman singh himself and grandmother next what is their summary what would be the summary of the, the story what is let me discuss in a brief way the author's grandmother was an old woman and her face was a criss cross of wrinkles she was very fat short and slightly bent this was her physical appearance her silvery white hair used to spread out on the wrinkled face she hobbled about the house of the spotless white clothes with one head restless on her waist to balance on the stoop and the other tailing the beds of rosary her lips constantly moved in a silent prayer for 20 years the author has seen no change in looks and behavior she was an extremely religious person he finds it difficult to conceptualize that one okay and wants to she was young and pretty like other women the stories about her childhood games were like fairy tales to him okay student so this is grandmother how does she look this is given here the narrator as in grandmother were very close friends his parents had left him with her in the village city and they were all together she used to wake up in the morning get him ready for the school plaster his wooden stale with yellow chalk prepare his breakfast and accompany him to the school when kushman singh fathers were settled in the city and kushman singh and her grandmother were where in the village so many things including make him ready in the school plastering the wooden slate chalk preparing him breakfast and accompany him to school understood they fed street dogs with stale chapatis when they went to school which was a greater fun to them she helped him in a lesson too next this is very important the turning point in their life so everything was good and okay when they were there in the village and suddenly the different turn had come out in their life what was the turn let's see let me discuss after that the turning point came in the relationship when the narrator came to city to stay with his parents in city he joined an english medium school now she could not go to him to the school in spite of her immense interest in the studies she could not help him in the lesson as as he was learning english law of gravity archimedes principles and many more such things which she could not understand and this made her distraught so when kushman singh was going through the different phase that means when he was taken admission in english medium school mother grandmother of kushman singh did not take any attention why because he had that interest but she couldn't help in the lesson as he was learning english laws of gravity and different signs archimedes principles and other things this is clearly called what is called it easternization versus westernization eastern culture of india and the western culture of foreign definitely it was adaptation of english which made grandmother angry next another thing which dis quieted her much was that the kids were not learning about god and scripture so english medium school the religion subjects okay the, the 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 subjects based on religion was definitely missing it was not the learning about god and scriptures let me proceed after that the school instead it was they were given music lessons to her music was not meant for gentle folk this is very important in the context of the story to her that means kushwan singh grandmother music was not meant for gentle folk it was meant for the pigs and the prostitutes only and she was dismayed and withdrew herself to some level 
ओके सो दिस वॉज हर डिनाइल सी डिड नॉट लाइक द आइडिया ऑफ टेकिंग एडमिशन इन इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल सी डिडेंट लाइक द आइडिया ऑफ लर्निंग दो शाइंस एंड आर के मी दिस लॉज ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स सी डेफिनेटली हैड मीस द लर्निंग एंड द रिलीजन बेस्ड ऑन गॉड एंड स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड सी थॉट दैट म्यूजिक विच वॉज टॉट विच वॉज डेफिनेटली प्रैक्टिस इन द स्कूल not meant for gentle folk it was what it was meant for only beggars and prostitutes next let me discuss after that what is there in the story after finishing school the narrator went to the university and he was given a separate room the common link of the friendship was snapped the question come from here also this is the line will be given in the text what was the common link of friendship and how it was snapped snap means what separated so when the author was being taken the admission in the university the common relationship was getting snapped his grandmother confined herself to a cell pimpos she spent most of the time in the reciting prayers by sitting beside the spinning wheel rarely talked to everyone the only diversion for her was in afternoon when she relaxed for a while to feed the sparrows in village she used to feed street dogs here in the city she fed the sparrows and they too become very friendly with her feeding the sparrows was the happiest half hour of the day to her so how she was compassionate okay kind in nature these are the description she used to get okay given the food to the sparrows sparrows were definitely liked her because in the village also and city also she had a great bonding to the birds after completing his university education he decided to go to abroad for the higher study and his grandmother came to see him at the railway station she was quite calm busy in telling the bits of rosary and reciting prayers as ever when he came back after 5 years he found her her, her more and more religious and more self possessed she spent even more time in the prayers and spinning the wheel feeding the birds was her only happy pursuit but just the day before the death for the first time she broke his routine and abandoned her prayers the day she sang the songs of the homecoming warriors with the omen neighborhood to celebrate her grandson's return from abroad next morning what happened she was taken ill doctor said it was a mild fever and would go but she took it differently she declared her that her end was near and she did not want to waste any more time to talking to anybody and she lay peacefully in bed praying and telling what praying and telling the beads till her lips stopped moving and rosary fell from the lifeless fingers okay what is that beads of rosary this is in hindi you know the japa mala the string through which that we can call god the mantra this is called beads of rosary that what fell down and see and died so this is the story the author has definitely in a touching way poignant way describes how good her grandmother was how religious and compassionate she was how she had the devotions with god scriptures and what religious sciences she did not have any any interest in language of what that is related to western culture she did not have the interest in music to her music not meant for gentle folk it was meant for the beggars and the prostitutes she was missing the scriptures that definitely related to god and how she was definitely given pretty okay and she was not as pretty but what her total descriptions given in the first para what is given that criss cross of the wrinkle she was fat short and slightly bent silvery hair and spread the wrinkle to face she hobbled about the house in the spotless white clothes this is the summary okay the characters two character narrator and the grandmother next let me start the text so before going to the text just you look at it and just what i had taught go through once
this is the tech student okay the portrait of a lady so before moving towards it toward the, for the first class you just check what i had taught okay just go for that summary part go for the characters and the introdu introduction of that lesson including what i had introduced with the author great author kuswansi just have a look let me start at least two paras for today's class then i would continue and complete the text let's see let me begin the story my grandmother like everybody's grandmother was an old woman she had been old and wrinkled for 20 years that i had known her my grandmother like everybody's grandmother was an old woman she had been old and wrinkled okay you know the so many lines in the face face wrinkled marked by for the 20 years that i had known her people that she had once been young and had a husband but that was hard to believe my grandfather's portrait hung above the mantel in the drawing room another side in the portrait my grandfather's picture also hung okay in the mantelpiece what is mantelpiece shelf above a fireplace in the foreign countries you if you look at that shelf above the fireplace this is called mantel place piece and that mantelpiece you definitely hung your picture and all he or he means who here grandfather of the narrator or a big turban and the loose fitting clothes his long white beard covered the best part of the chest and he looked at least 100 years old so this is the description of the grandfather in contrast of grandmother he did not look the sort of person who would have a wife or a children he looked as if he could only have a lots and lots of grandchildren as for my grandmother so this is the contrast with grandfather and grandmother if you talk about the grandmother being young and pretty underline the thought was almost revolting okay thought was was almost revolting underline the thought was almost revolting means what her thought how she was thinking okay so her thinking was revolting different others okay she was not that type of lady what she thought was different from others this is called her thought was revolting her our thinking was a different from others she often told us of the games she used to play as a child and that seemed quite absurd absurd means strange and undignified on her part we treated it like the fables of the prophets she used to tell us what are the fables fables are the short story with moral okay one education would be there moral and the prophets who are the prophets one who could tell the future telling so okay soothsayer one who could tell the future so fable of the prophets means stories of the sikh gurus just note down the fables of the prophet means the stories related to sikh gurus because kuzwan singh okay punjabi he belong to that punjabi religion so definitely the fables the stories about the sikh gurus she used to tell us so several time it has been seen the grandmother had already discussed with ourselves about the that religion that sikh gurus and about all her thought was changed and all the time but if we compare my grandmother okay to my grandfather he was a different person he is long white beard covered the best part of the chest looked at least 100 years old so these are the lines underline physical appearance of grandfather grandmother contrast and compare with grandfather and grandmother these questions are important here let me discuss the another para she had always been short and fat and slightly bent underline her face was a criss cross of wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere criss cross of wrinkles understood no where certain she had always been as we had known 
her old so terribly old that she could not have grown older and have stayed at the same age for 20 years it could she could have grown it it was looking much more older but it looked like that she had stayed at the same age for how many years 20 years she could never have been pretty never but she was always beautiful she hobbled about the house what is the hobbled means walked with difficulty hobbled means walked with difficulty in the house in spotless white with one hand resting on the waist to balance her stoop stoop, stoop means bending and another telling the bits of her rosary telling the bits of rosary means what you know counting the bits while chanting the prayers okay telling the bits means what is telling the bits means counting the bits while ch chanting the prayers and rosary means you know a string of beads used for counting prayers as they are chanted very important words these are rosary means what does that rosary means a string of beads used for counting prayers as they are chanted okay her silver locks were scattered untidily over the pale puckered face and her lips constantly moved in the inaudible prayer so all the time she had a touch with god lips constantly murmuring okay in praying condition in audible prayer that prayer could not be heard and her that puckered face what the puckered means wrinkled okay yes she was beautiful she was like the winter landscape in the mountains she has been compared with winter landscape in the mount mountains it means what an expanse of what white serenity expanse of pure white serenity serenity means peace and calmness that was breathing peace and contentment contentment means satisfaction okay and this is kusban singh she was not pretty at all but she was beautiful she hobbled in the house for resting her waist to balance the stoop for that bits of rosary always chanting her prayers to god and she has been compared with the white landscape in the mountains okay students for today's class up to here containment that means satisfaction tomorrow i'll continue from here my grandmother and tomorrow the class will be taken in google meet so tomorrow's class same time in, in google meet it would be definitely interactive class any questions core you have then ask me and definitely side by side i would continue the chapter so any doubt you have now ask me serenity means peace okay serenity monotonous means unchanging puckered means wrinkled rosary means a string of beads used for covering and counting the prayers as they are chanted telling the beads means counting the beads while chanting the prayers and hobbled means walk with difficulty any doubt you have then ask me here now the chapter done in the class previous classes i don't but it is the class is called recapitulation revision class along with the students who are taking late admission in the school so for them it is the first class and the students who had already attended the class for them it's second class any doubt you have ask me here now communicate do you have any doubt if you have then ask me
डोंट बी साइलेंट स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट देन आस्क मी अदरवाइज आई कंक्लूड टू डेज क्लास still you are not communicating so it's very bad that you are not communicating so whatever the problems you have then you have it's not me up to only i can teach i can explain if you not share your problems up to you students okay so let me conclude today's class it will be silence better you should communicate any problems you you have any questions you have. ask here so that i would be able to answer it do you have any doubt still you are silent all so better silent listeners all of you are silent listener very good okay student today's class up to here so tomorrow i would continue and tomorrow's class will be in google meet thank you have a nice day